God's peace be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Monday, June 21st. Today's devotional is based on Psalm 5, verses 1 to 8. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God, for to you I pray. O Lord, in the morning you hear my voice. In the morning I plead my case to you and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil that will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. You're, you destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. But I, through the abundance of your steadfast love, will enter your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. So today's devotional from Daily Feast was written by John Cobb, Jr. The psalm expresses the situation of many believers through the centuries. Believers affirm God's power and justice. Much in daily experience confirms this conviction. On the whole, day by day, we are happier when we are loving and generous towards others than when we are hard-hearted and withholding. Those who express their love to others in tangible ways often receive help from others when it is their time of need. Swindlers and cheats are often caught and punished. The virtuous are often honored. Those who work hard and are careful with their money generally do better than those who are lazy and spendthrift. And Cobb leaves us with this question today. Have you felt loving and generous today? Let us pray. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies Make way, make your way straight before me. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and with mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional, and I hope you join me again tomorrow. Until next time, whenever that may be, stay safe, stay healthy, keep washing your hands, practicing social distancing, and when you're in public, 